If you or someone you care about is always getting sick or has chronic immune issues, I would highly encourage you to listen in for the next few minutes. I'm going to share with you a powerful insight that has helped thousands of patients take back control of their immune system. Hi, I'm Dr. Mario Mancini, the Medical Director of the Center for Integrative Care, a functional medicine and peak performance center here in San Diego. Listen, if you're in a state of stress that is frequent and often extends for long periods of time, does that sound like you? If it does, then realize that your immune system is being suppressed. Now what's interesting is, is that over the years, I would hear patients tell me all the time they experienced a significant amount of stress prior to an illness, but never seemed to think there was a connection. Instead, they blamed it on their coworker, their family member who was sick, or that evil flu bug that's been reported as the worst in history. I also hear people say, sure, I'm stressed. I have a lot of stress around me. What do you expect? Hear me now. Life will come at you. You'll experience everything from constant high demands of your job, family stress, to unexpected tragedies. The key to offsetting these high demands, also known as stress, is not about changing the world around you, at least as your first priority. The primary focus is about changing something inside of you, specifically your psychology and your physiology. In today's brief talk, I want to discuss your physiology, your body. So how do you do that? Well, let's first provide you an understanding of stress and immune connection and why is it that one gets sick under chronic stress? So here's the premise. Cortisol, a stress hormone, suppresses antibodies. Antibodies are like your immune system's military police. They identify and neutralize those bad things like viruses and bacteria. So, if you continue to bombard the body with cortisol at high frequency, duration, and intensity, these protectors called antibodies become suppressed. Now let me share with you the flip side of this for a moment so you can really appreciate this. See, in the medical system, when they're doing an organ transplant, they need to suppress the immune system for a period of time so that the organ is not rejected. So what do you think they use? They use steroids, which is an external form of cortisol, that stress hormone that we just talked about. Because if there's no suppression on the immune system, that organ would get rejected. Now normally, that's a good response, but definitely not in this case when you want to get past the immune system to keep that organ in. Does that make sense? So, if you want to suppress your immune system, just generate continuous stress in your body. Now, I'm just kidding about getting stressed, but what I'm not kidding about is when you get stressed chronically, you must be aware that it is suppressing your immune system. So what do we do to offset these high demands? Well, you can move to a tropical island, but the only problem is you take you with you. So the thing you must do is increase your recovery from those hits of stress. Listen, your job is always going to push you. The people around you are going to continue to hit those emotional buttons. That evil flu bug will come back bigger, stronger, and badder every year. Even in my own personal practice, I can tell you beyond a shadow of a doubt that I will not get sick even though I'm around sick people all day. The only time I begin to notice my body break down is when I'm not offsetting high demands with recovery. So what in the world do I mean when I say recovery? Well, for me, when I'm pushing my body real hard, feeling like I'm getting out of balance, I get real honest with myself and I do an internal check by asking myself, where in my diet and exercise am I lagging behind? Am I getting enough time to sleep and rest? Am I holding any negative emotions about myself or others? Really? Emotions? Yes! What's interesting is that the Chinese figured this out over 3,000 years ago that one of the primary drivers of disease is chronic negative emotions. And what's even more interesting is that science is now just catching up to confirm this. So do a quick check on yourself and be honest. Is your diet, lifestyle, and exercise interrupting those high demands, also known as stress, to support your recovery? Now there's so much information on this topic that it can get you even more stress and that's not what we want. So where do we look to be most efficient? Well, I encourage you to look at time-tested strategies. So when you look at the culture that has the longest health and longevity track record in history, you'll see it to be the Chinese, hands down. So how did they do it? Simple, they used their own medicine. The Chinese developed strategies to restore the body and activate recovery at the same time. What a concept. 
These strategies include dietary, herbal, and nutritional therapy, as well as restorative exercises such as Tai Chi, Qigong, and meditation. Not medication, meditation. See, what's interesting is, is that we are now seeing more and more research validating how meditation can have a profound impact on interrupting the stress cycle and restore your health. Now, this does not mean you need to put on a robe, go up to a mountaintop, and chant. Because what we've done now is to extract why meditation works and develop exercises that can be incorporated into your daily life. See, there's a clear physiological change that occurs through these practices that's worth investigating. These are all the strategies we utilize here at the Center for Integrative Care. But we go on one more level. We utilize blood tests, hormone panels, and other diagnostic tests your medical doctor would prescribe pharmaceuticals. Also, when we provide nutrient cofactors, herbal and dietary therapy for immune issues, the strategy is different than that of a pharmaceutical. The primary and fundamental difference is we are supporting your body's immune response in withstanding and fighting that virus or bacteria. In other words, what we do is provide you the resources for your body to fight the fight. We don't need to duplicate what pharmaceuticals do because what they do is very effective, but with potential side effects. So you have to weigh out the risks and benefits. There are times you need medication and there are times that drug-free option is the best way to go. But more and more in today's world, we have the ability to use the best of both medicines. Now I want to add one more element. When I say immune response, you're probably thinking of those outside bugs like bacteria and viruses. I also want you to think internal for a moment as it relates to cancer cells. So your immune system also has what are called natural killer cells. And when you suppress the immune response, those military police start to get suppressed as well. And when they get suppressed, you cannot manage cells that grow out of control and mutate. You can't manage cells that are supposed to die and instead begin to mutate as well. So we want to not only think external, but also internal from a standpoint of how stress impacts the entire body inside and out. Okay, so what happens? You go to your doctor and you get diagnosed with a condition. The condition produces symptoms. The condition and its symptoms are treated. Is that the end of the story? Well, maybe, but most likely not because the underlying cause of why you have what you have has not been addressed. The point here is we don't just want to get stuck at the level of treating symptoms and killing the messenger. If you want to produce high levels of health or simply don't want to get sick, you must address the source of the issue. And the source is not a bug or your boss. See. In Chinese medicine, what we do is go upstream and find out what are the drivers that are throwing the entire system out of balance. What physical, chemical, and emotional demands are bombarding the system? So you want to ask yourself, where is my body not recovering? What key nutrients, herbal and dietary therapy can build my body's reserves? How can exercises such as Qigong, Tai Chi, and meditation restore health and interrupt the stress response? How can acupuncture play a major role in stimulating natural killer cells, reduce cortisol output, and improve absorption of nutrients to improve immunity? These are very critical questions that need to be asked if you want to take your health to the next level. So, if you want to find out more about how we can assist you with your specific health concerns and how we can best integrate the use of science-based natural medicine along with your current healthcare in a safe and effective way, Contact our office to schedule a free consultation where we can answer any questions you have to find out if and how we can help you with your healthcare needs. I'm Dr. Mario Mancini, and I wish you the best.